Hey guys, it's Joe from Keep Forest. Welcome to our quick tip series. We're going to run through how to make a drop in about five minutes. Let's have a listen to what we made. So let's start with some drums. I've got the drums loops instrument set up here. Trailer hit to the bottom. Kicks. Some snares. Let's dial in some MIDI then. Let's get a couple bars here. Some hits first. Some kicks. Some snares. Test out some hats. Nice. And some variation, maybe. Switch the hats. Let's quickly dial in some compression and saturation. Sounding good. So let's get some Brahms. Let's test some of these out. I want to do it in D. It's got a nice tail end to it. Sweet. So let's go for G4. Nice. So let's add a lead to this groove. I'm going to go straight for the first snapshot in lead benders. And let's choose a note for it. Let's go D3. Nice. Okay, it's a little bit wet, so let's get rid of that verb. Move the start point a little bit. And I don't like to come in too early, so let's try that. Nice. Let's just add a octave down layer as well, just beneath that. Nice. So let's add another bass. So I've got a new distortion patch loaded up. I'm going to set the right note and then just test a few sounds. It's got a really nice impact on that one. I'm going to put that down an octave. Let's get some MIDI in there, C5. And let's put the step sequencer on uh, this kind of rhythm. Going to have the first note go on the semitone above and then come back down. And this is sustain and then down. Cool. Gets a little bit quiet toward the end, so I'm just going to put in my little OTT rack here. Perfect. Let's play it with the loop. Nice. So I've got a ready-made sidechain set up. I'm just going to throw some bits in that. So the drums go in the one that has priority over the basses. And let's just listen to that. It's going to be a bit louder. Massive. All right, so let's maybe make some variation. So I've loaded up signature Brahms. I'm going to choose my favorite one and whack it in. I like these. That's the guy. So it probably needs this gap filling, really. Let's go in here. It was B1. I'm just going to tidy up the timing with a bit of automation. Just going to do a bit of variation on that other bass maybe change the note so if we go back into the step sequencer and then go one semitone under i think it's quite a subtle change but it makes quite a difference to the loop beautiful so I'm going to finish off the loop with one last bass sound. Um, again, looking for something with a transient. Nice. 
nice. I can put it to D. Uh, this one is a little bit off grid, but I kind of like that. Let's put that in the loop. So let's go for B3 here. Let's just be careful here. So this was to be like a slightly offbeat fella. And just to finish off, I've got Rise Eng on a riser preset, just uh, set up two bars before the end of the loop. Then we can just switch some of these sounds and get some urgency toward the end. Cool, let's try that. And there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.